What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. In today's episode, I'll be working on this TechLMC engine, which is hooked up to a blower fan. This is used for bee blowing, and today I'll be putting on the work table and getting everything cleaned up and making it run. So let's get to work. tabletop over here and I'll give you guys a close-up on the engine itself and the blower and what I'll be doing today is actually just stripping this apart I won't take the engine apart I'll keep it together but I'll take the fuel tank off I'll take the carburetor off and make sure everything is cleaned up so we can start it up for the first time in a very long time I'll make sure the blower is very good and I hope the seals are still good if they're not good on the engine then we're gonna have to replace them I might have to replace this hose right here in case it's leaking after it starts blowing. But other than that, that's the task for today. Get this engine running and make sure the blower works as well. So let's dig into it. I already took quite a few parts off this engine and now I moved on to the fan housing right here. The fan is exposed and the other side of the housing is still attached on the back end. So I'll be taking off the fan right now and then the back end of the housing and then we'll just have the engine on its own on a three legged stand. So let's dig into it. I'm pretty deep into this engine already and the housing over here as you guys can see I already split it and this right here is the engine and that right there is the housing everything right there is welded together that's how they did it and they welded also those three legs on the bottom as well but now I'll be focusing on the engine I'll be taking the covers off over here and the carburetor and hopefully I can clean all the gunk around it and then we'll look if we need any seals, I'll go get them. And I might need a head gasket because uh, the way they did this, they bolted the head bolts through this cover right here. And uh, that's not always the best thing because when you loosen off a head bolt, um, it could shift your head a little bit. And then when you retighten it, the head gasket may not seal properly. So I'm gonna have a look at that. Hopefully I don't need to get a new head gasket or open the engine far enough to actually do that. So let me get to the carburetor and the covers around the engine.
After a couple hours of cleaning all the parts from the Tecumseh engine and the housing for the blower, this is what it looks like. I have everything laid out on this table. I have the engine right here, the pull start cover, I have the flywheel, the fuel tank cleaned up very well. Uh, it's practically white now before it was very, very dark. I have the carburetor laid out right here, which I will be putting back together. Everything inside the carburetor was perfect. I threw it inside the ultrasonic cleaner and it cleaned up very well. The housing over here, I had to straighten out a little bit around the edges, but everything over there looks good as well. And I'm going to be checking the spark plug over here and changing the oil, but I'll show you guys the assembly of everything and then hopefully we can start it very soon. the engine assembled and I put it back on the stand and I do have to mount the fan right here and then the fan guard but what I want to do right now since I did say I want to start this up today I will add some fuel and I will adjust the carburetor and I will get this running tonight so stay tuned
getting too smoky in this shop and uh, I can hardly breathe. Uh, I don't want to faint in here, so I'm gonna say it runs and oh, that muffler is hot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust it, I'm gonna have to make sure it runs smoother. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the Tecumseh carburetor right here, but uh, and it's really hard to reach back here, especially where the muffler is. I did start it today, but I'll get it fine tuned tomorrow and then I'll get the rest of this together. And that will be it for the Tecumseh B-Blower right here. <laughs>